Hi, it's Jenny, and uh, best on ground performance, and I've asked uh, Isaac and Josh <laughs> to help us out with um, going through one of the Williams profile sheets. And Isaac's just going to hold up for me the uh, magnet that sort of shows what we're looking at is Rhythm champions support. that we know are caring, driven, bold, imaginative, colourful, prepared, and resilient. So the idea of these questions is to actually see which one of these these guys are normally, and some ideas of what they could do if it's not something that is actually natural for them. So again, I don't care if they've told, uh, told the truth or not on these questions, and um, I'm not going to ask them too many personal things today, but we're actually going to talk about some of the reasons, and I'll even say if they've given me the answer that is, um, they've got each of them you can see has got an orange highlighter and a yellow highlighter, as you can see. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Um, the orange highlighter is one that is a champion thought. It is one of those bold, colourful things. The yellow one and ones that actually might be holding them back or areas that maybe we might actually change, and we'll talk about it each one. So um, we're going through each question, um, and I might just pause between questions sometimes just so we have time to edit different questions with answers. So um, Josh and Isaac, Isaac, read out the first question for us, and we'll go from there. <coughs> Being modest means you sometimes miss out. True, false, or sometimes. Okay, exactly. So um, <laughs> the question is, um, whatever, uh, what did you put for that one? I did true. True? I did false. False. Well, in this one, I'd give Isaac an orange, and Josh would get a yellow. Now, Josh is actually one of those, and what it tells me is often we're told as human beings to be modest and to be nice. But the thing I've got to impress on you is most people don't do their homework. So if Isaac comes in and you both come in at the same time and tell me that, oh, well, Isaac says I'm really good at cooking cakes. And Josh, you go, oh, yeah, I've cooked a few cakes in my time. What happens is most people, because of this entropy thing that we talk about, don't get around to double checking it. Don't get around to finding it out. So they go, oh, Isaac's good at it. We'll give Isaac the job. And so if you're playing sport and you're always modest and you go, oh, I have an um, instance where one of the guys in an AFL team, um, the captain, everyone but the captain picked him for the first round. And the coach actually asked them to stand up and say why they should be picked. Well, one guy stood up and said, yep, you know, I've done this well and everything. Well, the second guy stood up and said, oh, yeah, he's really good. And, yeah, I think he's pretty good. Um, I tried pretty hard. And when I was talking to this guy, it was interesting because he said, the coach said the same thing. He needed to stand up and say, the other guy's good, but everyone else has picked me because I've done this work, this work, this work. I've done all this extra. So even for me as a female, in my age, if I just tell people, okay, oh, yeah, oh, people will find me, the answer is it won't happen. You actually have to understand when you've done the work, you've done the effort, and you actually put a lot of time, effort, and experience into something, that it's okay to say, yes, I'm good at it. So my answer for that is, <laughs> uh, am I really good at what I do here? Hopefully, yes, because of my time, effort, expertise, learning, doing all the reading. Um, am I great at cooking cakes? Well, Isaac's probably better than me. He's now <laughs> cooked too more than I have here. So do we understand why? So it's not saying um, you should always go around blowing your own, oh, yeah, I'm great at this. But when you need to be selected for something, you need to actually be able to justify and stand up and say, no, nah, I actually deserve this. All right, next one. <clears throat> Who's reading the question? Oh, I'll, I'll keep going. Question two. What others... Oh, sorry. Question <laughs> two. What others think of me isn't as important as what I think of myself. I said true. I said true too. You both get oranges for that. Oh, yes. See, oh, um, that is really important. <laughs> but interestingly, you've both gone past teenage. So many teenagers are so worried about what others think of them that they, um, you know, like, it, their whole world is surrounded by opinion. Now, Josh, you work in the world of social media, and that's a really interesting one because that is one that if you take your worth by social media and what other think of you in what context would that be for you? What do uh, others think of you? As in, like, likes and comments. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, like, for people who, who work in that realm... It's like, oh my goodness, I haven't got that many likes. Um, am I doing something wrong? Maybe it might be that, but maybe it's just people haven't gone on that week or you've wrong, written, used the wrong color of something. But for your self-worth, and that is that star that I often have around, you actually need to know that it's all about you. So um, if you said to me, oh, I have really good friends or a parent or something like that, 
and they've told me I'm an idiot just doing something, that's okay. You can actually listen to that. <laughs> but in general, it's got to be your inner voice is actually saying this. So when you guys are marking that, I want you to mark it right across the statement. So you really oh. get to see then which ones are, um, you know, like really good for you and which ones you can actually go, oh, I, actually, that one I need to. And Josh, quite honestly, from the first question straight away now, you'll get, oh, I can actually change that pretty easy. What Jenny said is good advice. You know, I need to say this. And again, this is one of the biggest things is just because you are one colour doesn't mean you have to stay that way. Yeah. And that's the biggest thing that people don't realise. Um, people can change which they are very quickly. Okay, question three. You go, Josh. Life sometimes lacks colour. Hmm. Now, let's say you can write whatever you like here because this is a fairly personal one. So market yourself with whatever colour you want at the moment. But the answer is, if you said true, what we actually understand of the world is, or sometimes, sometimes is a lot, especially when kids are teenagers or even up to your age, or again, when people are older and they lose their jobs. And often that life lacks colour is when we're actually feeling, it. things become black and white, when all of a sudden... Um, uh, things aren't going your way, you know, like, yeah, friends aren't around, uh, your parents yell at you all the time, or you're in a team and you get left out, you're on the bench, you're on the bench again, you're not in the squad. So again, we thought these were pretty set, and I've actually seen people that came and saw me at the start of a brilliant, you know, career, and they're orange and life never lacks colour, it's always great, and they've come back to me and they're totally life lacks colour. And I never thought that that was possible until I found if you are stuck in an environment that all you're seeing is negatives, it's one of the things that really makes a difference. So again, with marking that, but also with both of you, I'm going to try and find a pen quickly for each of you, one there. Mm -hmm. um, I just want you to write down some things that if you actually did put life lacks colour sometimes or life does lack colour, that you can actually go and try those two. Do they work? Thanks. Just checking. Um, like anything else on this video, you'll see life's not supposed to be perfect and we're trying things. But if life lacks colour, I want you to do the following things. What do you notice about this room? It's fully colour. Colour. So you can add colour to your life by wearing coloured clothes, alright? If you want to colour your hair. <laughs> people get so fussed about things like this, but it's actually important for people. Uh, another thing is, can you check your vitamin D levels? Because uh, I figure both of you two, knowing your lifestyles, don't have a lot of problem with this. <laughs> but um, we've even had PE, female PE teachers these days who have had low vitamin D levels. And that's because they teach in the gym most of the time and we all slip, slop, slap. And if you do that, you're still not getting enough vitamin D. Mm -hmm. So vitamin D is linked to happiness, which is linked to life and colour. Another thing you can do is, um, and Isaac and I have had quite a conversation about these at different times, uh, your playlist. You need to have different music playlists. So if life's like in colour, you need to have a playlist of fun, things that actually get your heart rate feeling like it's up a little bit, like, oh, yeah, they're the ones in the car that you bop to. That you actually go, oh, my God, this song's on, how good's this? Or, yeah, you'd immediately start dancing to you. Is that? So you need a whole two hours of stuff like that. So if you're going for a walk, oh, that's the other one, go for a walk out. This, some of you guys would do that anyway. But, again, these are all behaviours that you can change how you feel. So instead of, oh, my God, the world's getting worse, our job is to actually go, how do we make it better? So identifying, colour's starting to go out of my life. Now I'm adding some of these things to it. When you are feeling great, you can have anything you like on your music playlist, anything you like. When you're feeling sad, unhappy or angry, we've got to go to the other way. We've got to actually help the brain go, oh, I'm going to diffuse all of that. So this is part of... Um, feeling like that and this life that's colored the other one is and you guys are really good at this and that's one of the reasons why I've asked you to help is um, this is where you're actually going um, you've got friends find friends and if you've got a bop, <laughs> if you've got a boppy friend you know like I'm probably quite energetic so when people come around me they should go away going oh that was fun so again it could be do something that you enjoy with a friend who actually will make you feel better and Again, when people are always life is like in colour, they can actually suck the energy from the room. You have to, if you're feeling down, allow someone else's energy to actually come into your life mm -hmm. to actually help. So, um, again, so these questions aren't just right or wrong. These questions are, oh, my God, if you're feeling like that, what do you do about it? Yep. So, all right, next one. Yeah. Making a mistake doesn't bother me if I've tried my hardest. What did you say, Isaac? I said false. I said sometimes. 
Yours is better than Isaac's at the moment. Isaac gets a yellow for that one, and he hasn't got too many yellows, but you get a blank sometimes. Um, and even that one, Josh, you just give yourself a little yellow on the last three words or four words. What are the last four words? I've tried my hardest. Okay, so if you can honestly tell me you have tried your hardest. So sometimes people tell me, oh, Jen, I really tried, and I go, there's still another, have you done this, have you done that? Oh, I didn't get around to doing my music tape. I go, there's still things you can do. But if you can honestly tell me for what your capacity is, you've tried your hardest. Um, if I'll say to Isaac, if he had a, a, a child themselves and they're playing Lego or doing something and building and they're really, really trying, then all of a sudden it falls over. I just did that. Oh, no. That's on video. <laughs> you want yourself. Well, the thing is, people are supposed to enjoy these sessions. And this is the thing, but if you had a kid, Isaac, and they're playing Lego, doing really, really hard, fantastic, all falls over. Yeah. Do you get mad at them? No. Should you get mad at them? No. Why not? Because it's Lego. There's Lego. <laughs> what else? Because you tried. They're trying. So why don't we generally get mad at kids who are trying their hardest? Because they're... You want to do it again, don't yeah. you? Number one, it's not only because they're kids, but you want them to do it again and you want them to keep trying. So this whole thing in the world is, if you make a mistake, to keep your star big, to keep you feeling good, you must understand that if you make a mistake and you've really tried, get over it. And what's the, what's the formula? One excuse, two new plans. So not only will I forgive you for the mistake, but I'll go, what are we going to do differently? So that one excuse, two new plans that is all part of this is really important. So you can see how all of this is actually starting to understand. Oh, this is. Oh, I get now why that's a good thing. Oh, and I said, I'm going. If making a mistake may it can drive people to get better, but if you already tried your hardest, getting down on yourself isn't going to keep you going. Yeah. While actually going, okay, Jim would say, put a bit of music on, change what I'm doing. Here's my two new plans. Oh, I'm off again. All right. Four. Next one, Josh. I like being the center of attention. I said false. Ah, listen, you said that's outrageous. Silly. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I took it as it could be an F slash S. <laughs> S slash S, but that's quite different. What did you say? Sometimes. Sometimes. When? Oh, uh, when I've got something good to say. <laughs> yeah, no, that can't be it either. You both get a yellow for this. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason on most of these, I'm not, I'm not fussed about talking to you guys is I know you well enough to know which are the ones that you know like will be a difference but the answer there has to be I like being centre of attention when I need to perform the, the only so time I'd were, say it would be on a tennis court on a tennis court mm. yes but that's this, where the slash S <laughs> <laughs> but what about when you're about to do your really good photography and you want to be noticed for that oh, don't think of it like that Ah, but all of life in some ways is a performance. Mm. So the biggest thing is you do not need to be centre of attention all the time, right? I'll be right true to it, quite honestly. I don't care if people look at me and I'll dance and, you know, Isaac will go, oh, wow. You know, but again, that's personality. But the difference is if you want to be on the 1st of Augusta, if you want to win the Australian Open, if you want to do something really good in whatever profession you choose, and it may be in surgery, it doesn't matter what it is, when you are performing, when you are the person who is in charge and everyone's looking at you, you've got to go, I love this. I really like being there. So again, how do we get there? If you're a sometimes and you can, I have lots of people tell me sometimes when we're winning. And I go, no, 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 no. That's the easy time. It's got to be when you walk across the line mm -hmm. in what you love. So how do we get there? We do write it down, more practice. And if you get a little bit, you feel a little bit embarrassed, this is an embarrassment question. So again, when we link it back to all of those things, this is with resilience and also colour. So I need you to feel like, yep, yeah, I can be centre of attention. But if you get a little bit embarrassed um, talking in front of people, we start doing this. You're doing something that, you know, like is a little bit out there. Um, then we might, um, and I, you trust me that I wouldn't ever do anything that, you know, like would harm us. But again, I would be going... Um, if you've got to do this, go and practice in front of 10 of your mates. Or, um, Isaac, you've got to wear a fluoro pink shirt. And what will happen is people will start commenting on it. But you've actually chosen what they're commenting on, so you get used to it. Does that make yeah, sense? Okay. You actually almost start off with going, <laughs> okay, this is a bit uncomfortable. And I really like, um, from We Bought a Zoo, 30 Seconds of Courage. 
<laughs> take that deep breath <laughs> and I'm going to show you I can do this. And the idea of this is, again, I'll say there is no right or wrong, but this is why if you do not, if you imagine you're playing tennis and you're sometime, oh, even then, say you're not, and I'm going out there going, ha, ah, I like to be, how do you know that Federer, Nadal, Djokovic all like to be centre of attention. They handle the big game. Yeah. They handle people watching them. They handle all of this and they look forward to it. I look forward to, to being in the middle there. And even like Nadal with his no sleeves or his colours, uh, Djokovic does great uh, impersonations of everyone else. You know, that, that's all important in, as part of this. So this is where we're talking about being champions. You don't have to be attention all the time. Gary Ablett, who in AFL, is a good example of being attention. How do you find Gary Ablett on a footy field? He's got the ball. Yeah, that's one. He backs himself with the ball. How else? Really easy. Bald head. Ah, exactly right. So part of his colour is not to have hair. Your colour, you've got some. Isaac's got good colour hair too. You know, like <laughs> as it comes, and you notice me usually with my hair. And again, that is one of the things that. What do you want to be known for? And so when you're a 60-something-year-old woman, I don't really want to be known as a 60-something-year-old, oh, that one with all the hair and all the energy. It's, it's start to work out what do you want to be known for. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. No one ever described me as timid. I said false. I said true. That's orange. That's an unusual answer to you. Well, surely some people might describe you as timid. Oh, Isaac. No one ever. Ah. Th- that's, that's why okay. I'm going with Okay, I like that. You, you're questioning. And... Again, this is the reason why we're sitting here having this conversation. If you do these often online, you just push a button. Yeah, yeah. And again, you'll get a completely different profile than what you're probably intentionally saying. Yeah. So what you're saying is in the world, there's no such thing as no one and someone. Yeah. I, I will agree with that. But if you said um, 99.5% of the time, <laughs> mm. how would people, what would you say? And you said false. Even sometimes well, I would have thought you might have yeah, said no that, that was the question, though, because it says no Okay. Them, so All right, 99 point... I think it was either true or false. So 99.9% of the time. I don't know. I, I oh, you, and you would say... You would sometimes. Say, you'd say uh, sometimes. Yeah, and that's probably true when you look at... When I look at it from how you might see the world versus how I see you in the world, would you agree with that, Josh? I'd agree with what Isaac said. That when sometimes? When you meet someone new... Sometimes. But when he knows them. Uh-huh, it's quite different, it isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And again, that's what that being centre of attention when, when it's going to be. Mm. So if Isaac's going for an interview and he wants a job, he can't afford. It may be someone new, mm. but he can't afford to be timid. All right? So again, and there's a difference between being slightly shy and timid. Timid is almost being um, dictated to. Right. Where you let the world actually uh, influence you. So again, Isaac, I will go with the sometimes, leave it blank, mm-hmm. but now you actually can see what I'm saying about that. Timid is not something we want to be in the world. We don't want to be something that the world always tells us what to do. And so again, this is the uh, right or wrong, and it's great having you talk to each other because you're actually going, oh wow, you know. And when we did this with the Tigger and Eeyore stuff, I had one guy go, I am an Eeyore. And all the teammates were going, no you're not, you're a Tigger. And I'm going, how are you all telling him what he is? Yeah. It was amazing that yeah. everyone else viewed him from the outside, not viewing what he thought of himself. And again, this is where coaches get into problems and so do people because they don't understand a lot of this. All right, next one. Others often disappoint me. Mm, that's that's good. Yeah. I said false. I said sometimes. Okay, that's orange. And that one's blank at the moment. And the thing is... <laughs> yeah, the blanks are okay because you're actually... Especially at your age, you think about it and you can go, ah. Now, I say a lot of kids in high school have others often disappoint me as a true. And guess what? You're actually thrust into who's in your life, yeah. who's around. I'll say false to that because the people I choose, oh, believe me, there are people who disappoint me. Yeah. And so maybe sometimes, but I don't actually, they don't actually get into my psyche enough yeah. to ever write that. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so again, this I'd is say how. The ones that I choose, that like all my friends don't. But it'll be like the external. Ah, that. so again, you can change your answer to that if you're thinking about this. But this is how, how at the moment, it shows you how we view things. So yeah. in other words, do not think people don't disappoint me. But in yeah. the long run, I go, I'm almost like the three strikes. But you I don't care the about three the ones times, yeah. that disappoint me. Okay. But, but you, yeah. you, they're enough for you to say sometimes. Yeah. Well, others will actually go, no, nah, false. 
And then you go, but what about such and such? Yeah, but didn't care enough to even let them do that. Yeah. So again, you can see how these answers can change and why instead of, I hate the fact that most people do Myers-Briggs or, um, which is a bit like, as I say, Lego or any questions, because when you were young, you can interpret things completely yeah. differently and just having a chat, that's not a yellow, that was saying, ah, and but you it's might even change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, what else? Next one.